This comparison of Microsoft Word to FrameMaker is part two of a session that involves the reference page. And in our earlier video, we visited the reference page and discovered that we can actually create special placed frames that have graphics and text combinations in them that can then be associated with paragraphs. And to go back to our body page, let's rediscover that. So you'll notice that, for instance, I happen to have a style um, in my paragraph catalog called Caution. And if I click on that, notice that the text becomes extremely small and that Caution artwork that we saw on the reference page appears above it. Notice I have another paragraph style called Caution Body, and Caution Body is uh, designed to be italic. And what I'd like to do is to have Caution appear up here, and the Caution Body automatically be associated with that column of the paragraph. So in other words, my goal is the next time I create this special paragraph style, which is called Caution, I'd like it to automatically drop those two styles in place. I'm going to go back and change this back to body and simply refresh the catalog. So here we've got caution, caution body, etc. So let's see how we would do that. Um, first of all, uh, with uh, with um, FrameMaker, it's possible to have the paragraph remember whatever style you associate with a column. So just as a quick example, if I made the first column be a numbered paragraph and I made the second column become a bulleted paragraph, if I were to go into my table designer and then update the style, we don't see anything happen at this point. However, it did make a big change because the next time that I insert a table called caution, notice that I'm automatically getting numbers in instead of um, the styles that we had before. So what I'm going to do is to actually go ahead and um, apply those styles that I talked about. First of all, I'd like to actually delete the text. Just going to leave the cells empty. And I'm going to go ahead and change this style to the one that we saw earlier called Caution. Notice it drops our little box in. Now up here I'm going to type in some text, um, you know, please don't stand in the water while plugging in the cord. Okay, now I'm going to change that to Caution Body. And this now gives me the styles that I would like to have in this Caution table. So the final step is to simply go to the Paragraph Designer and just do a quick update all. Now that I've done this, as I demonstrated before, you'll see that if I create a new table and I make the table style called Caution, notice that it's automatically giving me what I want. Um, although this, in FrameMaker's eyes, is nothing but just a paragraph style over here where I blocked out the cell called Caution, it is automatically dropping in that artwork from the reference page. And I'll go ahead and just add some text here. Now, if our needs changed and we wanted to have this uh, caution box look different to create a different type of emphasis, we would do that as per the earlier video by simply revisiting the reference page. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a little larger. And I'm going to make an extremely simple change. I'm just going to change the uh, box to dots. And the other thing I'm going to do is make the word caution in italic. And I think this would also make it stand out a little bit more. I just want it to visually look different and interesting when we go back and revisit the body page. So I'm just putting a little extra space between the letters of the word. Now, as we go back and revisit the body page, we discover that all instances of the um, table have changed. And we'll discover that this is true of any additional ones we create as well. So in closing, let me make one last instance of this caution um, table. And notice as I do, I'm getting the dotted lines we just made on the reference page. So this brief video has just shown you one more way that you've got some increased capacity and power with FrameMaker that you don't normally find with Word since Word does not have reference pages and Word does not really have a built-in capacity to automatically store artwork that you would simply and easily associate with your paragraph styles. Something very important, by the way, is that each one of these instances of caution does not add any space to your document because there's only one instance of caution saved on the reference page and these are basically kind of like televised broadcasts appearing inside of your um, your table. In fact, I can't even get an insertion point to edit. This concludes our demonstration. One more productivity feature in FrameMaker that will save you a great deal of time.